Hello, hello, it's Shara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to create a look using Too Faced Just Peachy Matte palette. Um, it's called Matte for a Reason. All 12 shades here are matte. There's no shimmery colors whatsoever, which is rare because I don't think I have any palettes like this. There's usually a few shimmery colors in one palette, but yeah, I think it will work. And this packaging though it's just so fancy over here has two peaches i know it's kind of dirty just open up like this and it has like a huge mirror inside and like the outlines are gold which i love the back is gold too oh my god it's so dirty please don't forget to subscribe turn on my post notifications and follow me on instagram all right, let's just get started. I haven't done any makeup in a long time. On the weekday, I just don't have the time to do makeup, so I feel like I haven't get to play around with makeup items for so long, and now I'm just super excited. First thing first, I'm going to prime my face with Milk Makeup. This is their Luminous Blur Stick. So this is like a shimmery primer. Let's see. I feel like it's shimmery enough that I'm just gonna pull it all over my face. It gives you a very nice glow. I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. I feel like even though this is a primer, I'm pretty sure at the end I can probably use it as a highlighter on my face, like a cream highlighter. For foundation, I'm going to use my Hourglass Foundation Stick in the shade Shell. I like to go over my eyelids. Next, I'm going to use Max Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. A little pump on my hand and just tap it on to underneath my eyes. I like to put it a little bit next to my lips because I feel like over here are kind of dark. And just blend it out. Again, like I like to go over my eyelids. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows and lately I have just been using the Benefits. I can never say this correctly the first time. <laughs> Goof Proof Brow Pencil and the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I usually mix the two or sometimes I just use this one. It just depends. This one is almost out but the other day I ordered a lot because it was 50% off at Sephora. That was a good deal. I'm gonna move you guys closer. I am all done with my eyebrows. Moving on to eyeshadow. I'm going to use this color Peach Butter for my entire eyelid. I don't want to use this one because I feel like this one is too white. I want it to be more warm. It's very powdery. I always say this, I don't mind, but I just want everyone to know because some people don't like powdery eyeshadow. Just gotta remember to tap it off because you don't want that powder in your eyes. It's gonna hurt. I'm just gonna apply it all over my lid. You know what I realized about this palette? A lot of the shades, like Just Peachy, Fresh Picked, Peach Tea, all of these shades, you can like use it for just one shade. Sometimes you don't really want to go anywhere fancy and you still want to have like a minimal makeup on. You can just use that one color and just do it all over your lid and then you're good to go. I realized that this palette, it's good for everyday makeup. It makes it really easy for you to do you like a natural easy day makeup? Especially these warm tones right here. For today, I'm already filming about this, so I don't wanna just do one color, you know? Let me see this one, this color. It looks like purplish. It's like this. Pretty dark on my finger. It's just like purplish pink. It's not my favorite. I don't really like purplish tone that much, but I'm gonna give it a try. I'm just gonna pop it right here. See, yeah, it's kind of like purplish. It's really not as dark as you see it in the palette. It looks messy right now, but we're going to blend it out. I'm going to use Fresh Picked right here to blend it out. I am so stupid. Like, I keep like putting my palette down and grabbing onto this mirror. I could have just used the mirror like in here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna 
run over. Very nice. This color is definitely very warm. I'm going to add a little bit more purplish color. Use just peachy. I have to say though, if I'm going to use a very colorful color on my eyes like this, I usually like to top it off with a shimmery color. And it's just very weird to not have a shimmery color, but so colorful on my eyes. We'll see how it goes. All right, now I'm going to use a darker color, just a little bit, and I'm gonna add it just right here. Just kind of like tap it right here to make it more defined. I just gently tap on it. I think there's too much on this side. Let me just blend it out a little. Do I look crazy? Tell me the truth. I'm gonna try this the white color um, that I didn't want to use. I'm gonna add over here, like just tap on it in the front. So kind of brighten up, even though it's not a shimmery color, but it's white. So just kind of brighten up like the front a little so I don't look so intense like in the front. Now I'm going to use this color Fresh Picked again and, and apply it on my waterline but just like one third in the back over here. Just peachy right here and apply it all over my waterline. Bring it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of this color since on top of it I have that color. Just add it in here. Okay, I think I'm done with my eyeshadow. I'm going to use this very thin angle brush. This color, it's called Chocolate Dip. It's just the darkest color in this palette. And I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. I usually use just like whatever eyeshadow palette I have and use the darkest color and drag it out as my eyeliner. I have to say this is not the best to do that. I think it's just their formula is so powdery and it goes everywhere and I have to fix it with a q-tip to make it sharp but it's hard to do. Usually it's very precise with other eyeshadow palette but I can still work around it. It's just not very ideal. I think this is the best I can do. I don't like to use the liquid eyeliner because I feel like it's very hard to control and I also want I also don't want a very pop eyeliner. I like it very soft and still kind of on the natural side. All right, so this is how it looks like. My face is just white. I look like a ghost, so I need to warm up my face. I'm going to use Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is the medium slash deep matte bronzer. Very powdery. Just gonna contour and warm up my face, basically. Smells like chocolate. <laughs> Smells so good. Can you tell a difference? Perfect size for this little thing. Okay. Yeah. A little bit on my nose, right here. Mm. Now I'm going to use Tarte's blush. I guess this entire thing is called Peachy Glow. I didn't even realize it's peachy too, just like the Too Faced palette. Honestly, I love the packaging, and um, this is the blush. The blush is okay, but this highlight though, I'm not a fan of this highlight. This is just a very useless highlighter, like. It just feels like there's nothing really. I think I got this one because the packaging is so cute. Blush is not bad. I like the blush. I just feel like the highlighter is kind of useless. It's pretty pink. Since my eyeshadow is very matte, I want to top my blush off with another blush. This is from Melindy and this is the color Rose Doro number two. 
The reason why I want to use this one to top it off is because this one has shimmer inside. I don't know if you can tell, but I want something to pop. <laughs> That's the point. If my eyes are not popping, my cheeks have to pop a little. I don't know if I've ever used this on camera, but this is very cute. Like, I love the packaging. It's gold, you know, and you can open this up inside has the brush. I, I still have the packaging because I've never used this blush. Oh, and over here has a mirror. I don't know if I knew that or not. That's cool. I just use my own brush. That little tiny brush is not very helpful. Very generously. Can you tell it's glowing a little? Compared to this, it's very matte. And this, it's glowing. Every time I use blush, I always like to use my sponge and just kind of like go over it a little so it doesn't have the harsh lines on my face. Because even though I want a ton of blush right now, I still want it to look somehow like smooth, you know, not, not like a chunk right there. Now I'm going to use this as a cream highlighter and just see how how that works. I'm not sure if you can use it like this. I guess I'm just going to use my finger. Does it work? Or did they just kind of like take away my blush? Try on my nose. It's not very intense, like the highlight effect that I want, right? It's not very... Oh, actually, but I feel like it took away my blush. No, this is not good. This is not going to work like this. I'm going to put my blush back on. <laughs> I'm going to put my blush back on a little because I feel like that really took away my blush. I'm going to use Essence Pure Nude Highlight. I guess I would say this is the cheapest highlight I have and it's the best cheapest highlight that you can find. Yeah. But it's not like Becca. This is more on the natural side. It's not like Becca when it's just like pop right on your cheeks. But this one is still very nice. It feels really natural on your face. It has like a natural glow. You see that? Hmm. I love it. Eyebrow. I mean, brow bones. If I see my face glow, that's what makes me happy. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Setting Spray as usual. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. By the way, I live in Orlando and over here has a dessert place. Um, I went with my friend one time. I didn't know about this place. She loves like dessert places, so she took me to this dessert place. It's called Better Than Sex, and it's really cool because inside is super dark. Like, they don't have any lights inside. I think they just use candles, if I remember it correctly. It's cool because I've never been to this kind of restaurant or dessert place before. It's just like peach dark in there basically and then a few candles so like you're talking in the dark and the waiter and waitress who are ordering your food in the dark they don't really have food they have like alcohol drinks with chocolate and a lot of like different kind of chocolate stuff i think we had a brownie mixed with alcohol or something like that i see a lot of couples go there and it's a good date night dessert place to go so if you live in orlando go check it out it's called better than sex remind me of that because this mascara has the same name if i can find a picture of that dessert place i will put it right here and show you guys what i got finished. For my lips, I'm going to put some Vaseline first. To finish it off, I'm using MAC lipstick in the color Bombshell. This is the Frost lipstick, so it's the same texture as CB96, um, but this one is um, pink and CB96 is more orange. I will link it up here. You can go check it out. My CB96 lip swatch. I love that lipstick. I 
Alright guys, that is all for this look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you get an idea how this palette looks like. It's super matte. Everything is matte. No shimmery color. So if you love a good matte look, try this out. I think you will like it and the colors are very neutral so it's very easy to play around with you can use a lot of the colors in here as like everyday color so I think it's easy for beginners too because one color all over the lid and you're done hope you enjoy this look please don't forget to subscribe turn on my post notifications and follow me on Instagram thanks for watching bye see my little fan around in a very long time but I got a pizza card from my mailbox and this this is some kind of like good quality $10 gift card but anyway it's this quality is good and it's perfect for thinning my face